Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba tayo nagdi-divide ng whole numbers with two-digit divisor. Okay, let's begin. Okay, before we start with the long division with two-digit divisor, magbibigay muna ako ng isang example on how to divide using long division, yung one-digit divisor muna. Okay? Okay, so I have here 486 divided by 2. Nasaan ba dyan ang divisor? The divisor here is 2 and the dividend is 486. So we are going to divide 486 by 2. Kapag 1 lang, 1 digit lang ang ating divisor, mas madali itong gawin kaysa sa 2 digit divisor. Okay? So let's begin. 4 divided by 2. Ilan bang 2 ang makukuha natin dun sa 4? We have 2. So isusulat natin siya dun sa katapat ng 4. Right? And then next step is to multiply 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then subtract. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Huwag na natin yung isulat. And then, yung katabi niyang 8, ibibring down natin. Okay? Ibababa lang natin yung 8. Now, divide 8 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then, subtract. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. Huwag mo nang isulat yon. And then, yung katabi ng 8, yung 6, Ibaba mo. Okay? And then, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, ganyan lang kadaling mag-divide ng whole number with one digit divisor. E paano na po ang gagawin kapag two digit na po ang divisor? Okay, now look at this example. I have here 3,732 divided by 12. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung divisor natin dito ay 2 digit na. Okay? So, paano ang gagawin natin kapag ganyan? Uh, following the same step dun sa ginawa natin kanina sa 1 digit divisor, ganun lang din ang gagawin natin. Una, magde-divide tayo, magmumultiply, at magsusubtract. Tapos, mag-bring down tayo ng kasunod na number. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito sa 2-digit divisor. Ang pinagkaiba lang dito, uh, syempre, kung 2-digit na ito, dapat 2-digit din ang sisimula natin. Okay? Okay, now. Can we divide 3 by 12? Of course, no. Kasi, wala naman tayo makukuhang 12 dun sa 3. How about 37? Sa 37 ba, may makukuha na tayong 12? Yes, mayroon na. Ilan? Ilang 12 ang mayroon sa 37? We have 3. Okay? So, yung 3 na yon isulat mo dun sa tapat ng 7. Okay? Kasi 37 yung dinivide natin. So, yung last digit na yon dun mo siya itatapat. Yung quotient mo. Okay, next. Multiply 3 times 12 is equal to 36. Okay, next. Subtract. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1 and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Or simply, 37 minus 36 is equal to 1. Okay? Next step is to bring down 3. Okay, yung katabi nung 7 ay ibababa lang natin. Okay, now. 13 divided by 12. Okay, may makukuha ba tayong 12 dun sa 13? Yes, mayroon. Ilan? Isa. Okay, so ilagay natin yung 1 dito sa tapat ng 3. Okay, and then multiply 1 times 12 is equal to 12. And then subtract 13 minus 12 is equal to 1. And then bring down 2. Now, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. And 1 times 12 is equal to 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. 
Okay? So, nakakuha tayo ng quotient na 311. Paano natin ma-check kung tama ang sagot natin? Okay? Para ma-check natin kung tama ang sagot, i-multiply nyo lang yung quotient or yung nakuha nating answer sa division, 311 times the divisor na 12. Okay? Dapat ang makuha nating answer ay yung dividend para mapatunayan natin na tama ang ating sagot. Okay? 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay? At dito naman i-apply nyo na lang yung identity property of multiplication dahil 1 ang ating multiplier. Kopyahin nyo na lang yun. Siyempre, mag-move tayo ng isa dito. 1, 1, 1. Okay? And then, add. Bring down 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And bring down 3. 3,732 is the same as our dividend here. Therefore, our answer is correct. Okay, now let's have example number 2. I have here 1,113 divided by 21. Teacher, sabi mo po kanina, kapag po 2-digit yung divisor, mag-start din po tayo dun sa 2-digit na dividend. Okay, in this case, since hindi naman natin madi-divide yung 11 by 21, kasi wala naman tayong makukuha 21 dun sa 11, ang gagawin natin, mag-move pa tayo ng isa pa. Okay, to make it 3-digit number. 111 divided by 21. Alright, so kapag ganito na medyo malaki na yung number para sa inyo, ang gawin ninyo ay mag estimate kayo. Okay? Gawin nyo to. Teacher, paano po ba nag estimate Okay. So saan ba malapit na number yung 21? So sa 20. Okay? Yung 111 po ay sa 100 naman. Ngayon, yung 100 divided by 20 ay mas madali nang i-divide kaysa doon sa 111 divided by 21. Tama? Yes. When we divide 100 by 20, ilan ang makukuha nating 20 doon sa 100? 5. Okay? So, ilagay natin dito 5 sa tapat ng pangatlong digit ng dividend. Kasi ito yung kinuha natin eh. Okay? Now, we have 5. And then now, i-multiply na natin yung 5 sa 21. 21 times 5. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So, mayroon tayong 105. Now, subtract 111 minus 105. So, mayroon tayong 6. And then, bring down 3. Now, 63 divided by 21. Ilang 21 kaya ang makukuha natin sa 63? Okay? So, mag-estimate ulit tayo. We have 20 and 60. Ilang 20 ang mayroon sa 60? We have 3. Okay? And then, Multiply, 3 times 21 is equal to 63. 63 minus 63 is equal to 0. Ang nakuha nating quotient ay 53. Okay? Now, paano natin machi-check kung yung sagot natin ay tama? Gawin lang natin yung ginawa natin kanina. I-multiply natin yung nakuha nating quotient by the divisor. We have 53 times 21. Okay, again, i-apply lang natin yung identity property of multiplication dahil 1 naman ang ating multiplier here. Kopyahin lang natin, 53. And then, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And then, add... Bring down 3, 5 plus 6 is equal to 11, 1, carry 1, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, and bring down 1. Nakakuha tayo ng sagot na 1,113 na katulad ng ating dividend. Therefore, our quotient is correct. Alright? 
kung natuto, pakilike naman ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Thank you and stay healthy!